Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply for KRA PIN certificate. So without further ado, let's get started. Now you need to have three things. One is the email address. Two is the phone number. And three is your ID. I know you already have these three. Maybe you do not have an email address. If you do not have an email address, I want to show you how you can quickly create an email address and then start the process. So if you do not have an email address, please follow me along. Now you'll come to Google and you will search for create email address and then you'll click on this first link. Okay. And then you are going to click on create an account. It is going to load and it's going to ask you a first name and you're going to put your first name as just like that. I'm going to use her as an example. Then the next name or the last name is as that and then click on next. You'll put there the, the month you are born which is February on first and then you put there the year you are born and you choose the gender which is female and click next. And then you can choose from these two uh, uh, links that you've been given or you can create your own email and for me I want to create my own so I'm going to type in my own just like that and I'll hit on next and then I'll be asked to put the password so I'm going to put the password as this um, yes put uh, uh, at least eight characters that you can remember then I'm going to confirm this uh, very password just like that yes and then i'm going to click on next and then it will ask me for a phone number i'm going to put the phone number for this my client okay and i'm going to place it just like that and click on next then it will send a, a verification code so i'm going to put that verification code just like that and click next and then do i i don't need to put that then i'll put click on next and say yes i'm in and then i'll click on next to just confirm that that is my number and then click on agree that is how you can create a gmail account very quickly okay then i'll come here and click on gmail and uh, yes it will load for my gmail okay that is it just give it a moment yes i've already created this so i'm going to add a tab here and search for itax itax.kra.go.ke and then I'm going to press enter then I'll come and click on new pin then I uh, type uh, I'll just say individual and then I'll come here registration mode is online and then I will click on next and then I'll come to basic information you have to fill this basic information so uh, I'm going to say I'm a Kenyan and then this is no then I'll choose my group a student okay and then i'll put now the uh, id number as it appears on the very id card and then i'm going to put here the year of birth which is 0102 2004 just like that then when i click it is going to automatically load details for parents for you know all that they already know you okay all I need to now put here is the building. I just uh, put their vision cyber Shinyalu just like that. Then I'm going to put the street as Shinyalu just like that. Then I'm going to put the town as Kakamega just like that. And then I'll choose the county. You'll choose your county. And then uh, the district is Kakamega East. And then the tax area is Sinyalu. Then I'm going to put here my code address, which is 5007 for Sinyalu. Then I'll put there my PO box, just like that. Here I'll put the phone number. Yes, make sure it's clear. 17. Okay. And then I'm going to put now the email that I created. You remember when you were creating this email? So I'm going to type in the email as I created it and then I'll click outside. And it's going to tell me in order to continue using this, you know, blah, 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 we are going to send an OTP. Uh, okay, and then I say, okay. 
And then so uh, they'll send an OTP when I click here on send OTP. And then I'll come back to uh, my email and then check the email. It, they have already sent. The OTP is right here. Then I'll click on this tab and type in the OTP just like that. And then I'm going to move down. Uh, do you have any alternative address? I'll say no. Do you have this bank account? No. Do you Are you a partner director? No. <laughs> just like that. Would you do, 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 do? No. Everything is no. And I'm going to click on next. And here in this obligation details, I'm just going to check this income tax resident. That's the only thing I'm going to check here. And then I'll put today's date. Then I'm going to scroll down and click on next. Now here, source of income. Now um, I have to declare employment. I'm not employed. Rental. Uh, I don't have rental. Uh, business income. Mm, no. <laughs> then I'll click on next. Here, on agent details, I'm not an agent, so I'm not going to fill anything. All I need to do is the arithmetic. So 117 minus that is 110. Then I'm going to submit. They tell me you have registered this email, your primary email uh, for further communications, blah, blah, blah. Click on K. Do you want to submit data? Okay. And the process is successful. Registration application has been submitted successfully. And then... All I need to do is to download this by just clicking on the link and it will download my KRA PIN certificate. And all I need to do now is to basically print this and keep it for myself. They'll also send a copy on my email and that will be fine. So I just say print. Yep. So this is how you can quickly apply for KRA PIN certificate while in Kenya. It is as simple as that. And then after a year, you need to file for returns. If you are not working, you file for nil returns. If you're working, you file for income tax returns. If you have a company, you file for VAT returns. And by the way, I created a video on how you can file income tax returns here in Kenya. I've posted it on this, my channel. Please check it out. And if you have any problem filing your KRA returns, please contact me on this contact. I can easily help you. I file nil returns, income tax returns, and also VAT returns. And if you have problems with recovering your uh, PIN, if you lost your PIN, I can also help you recover your PIN. If you need that video, please comment down and I'll be able to create a video for you just explaining how you can retrieve your uh, lost KRA PIN and it is going to be easy. And if you also need to change your email, maybe in one way or the other you forgot your email, I can help you retrieve your email or change your email. And also if you need a video on that, please just comment and say, I need a video on this. And I'm going to create a video for you. And I'm hoping that it's going to be helpful. Any further questions about KRA services, how to file, how to create, please do not hesitate to ask me out. I've given out my contact. You can drop here a comment and I'm going to help you absolutely free. All I need you to do is to basically like this video, share it to your friends if they have a problem uh, with KRA and they want to solve it, please share this video to them. And most importantly, please consider subscribing. And not only subscribing, my friend, ring that bell so that you do not miss any other future videos that you are going to upload on this channel. So if you need help with KRA, please do not hesitate to contact me. You have until 30th of June, 2023 to file your KRA returns. Make sure that you do before that date. I'm here to help. I've put a video online which can help you. And please do not incur these penalties that are going to be put on your account. Otherwise, I'm hoping that this video has been very helpful to you. And if that is the case, please make sure that you watch my following video. Please click on anywhere on this screen, watch the next video. And I'm hoping that I'll see you in that video. Peace.